This time as we're analyzing graphs of polynomial functions, let's focus on, and this is something I mentioned briefly, uh, in, I think in the previous video, maximum and minimum points. And so here we're asked to graph a function f of x equals 2x cubed plus x squared minus 4x minus 2. And then we're asked to estimate the x coordinates at which the relative maxima and relative minima occur. And before we go to the calculator uh, to do that, uh, let's again look at a couple of things here. One, our leading term is raised to the power of three, which means that its end behavior is going to go in opposite directions. One's going to go towards negative infinity and the other one's going towards positive infinity. And the fact that this is a positive 2x cubed means that it's going to be left arm down, right arm up, uh, where the left end behavior is going towards negative infinity and the right end behavior is going towards positive infinity. Uh, also, uh, we could have as many as three possible zeros because we have x cubed. And we're going to have two turning points. And it's at those turning points that we can have a maxima and a minima occur. Now, because these are, it's an odd, uh, raised to an odd power, um, it's not, they're not going to be absolute maxima or minima, but they will be relative. And that's because we're going to negative infinity on one end behavior and we're going to positive infinity on the other, but we can find a relative and a max, relative maxima and a relative minima. Now let's go to the calculator. We're going to eyeball, we're going to eyeball the graph and then we're going to use a feature on our calculator that'll help us get a very close estimate of what these maxima and minima are. Well, here we are on the calculator, and as you can see up here in the y equal, I've already entered the function 2x cubed plus x squared minus 4x minus 2. So let's go take a look at the graph. And so here's our graph, and you can see I got two turning. Well, there we're going to negative infinity on our left end behavior, and our right end behavior, we're going to positive infinity. We actually do have three zeros, three real zeros, where we're crossing the x-axis, although we're not asked to provide any information on that in this exercise. And we have the two turning points. So at this turning point here, where just eyeballing it looks like that x is probably negative 1, I've got a relative maxima. And down here where X is, oh, I don't know, somewhere between, pretty close to negative, I mean, positive one, I've got a relative minimum. But let's use a feature that we got on our calculator to get us a little bit closer estimate. So I'm going to go to second tracer calc. And let's see, the one on the left was a maximum. So I'm going to choose option four first. And I'm going to move this cursor. And it's going to follow the graph until uh, it's to the left of the maximum point. I'm going to hit left bound enter. Then I'm going to move it to, to where it's just to the right of where it looks like the maximum point is. And I'm going to hit enter. And then you'll see where it says guess. And I say, why not? So, and the, and the one we eyeballed this on this maximum, x is in fact equaling 1 where y is also equal to 1. And so the x-coordinate of this relative maxima is 1. And just by the way, the y-coordinate is negative 1. Now let's go find the minima. So again, I'm going to hit second calc or trace. And this time I'm going to choose option 3 for the minima. And I'm going to move my cursor down to where it's just above where that minimum is, I'm gonna hit that looks pretty close to the what would be the left bound. I'm gonna hit enter. Then I'm gonna move it a couple of spots to get to the right of the uh, relative minimum point. I'm gonna hit enter. And again, it says, Do you want to guess about this? I said, Sure. And here we see that when x is at 0 0.6666, you know, really two thirds, approximately two thirds 
uh, is this relative minima point, the x coordinate. And again, by the way, the y value there is at negative 3.63, let's say if we rounded it to the nearest hundred. So here we, he, we, we can see, visually see, we got a relative maxima here, we got a relative minima, we got the little blinking cursor right now, and we used our calculator to give us very, very, very close estimates as to what those relative maxima and minima are, what, they, what their values are.